everybody on YouTube land. Why well, World Trains here? Hey, I want to thank all my subscribers who have found my channel the last couple of years and have enjoyed my videos. I want to thank you for that. Hey, and if you want to help new people who haven't found my channel to find it and enjoy my videos like you have, every time you watch one of my videos, give it a thumbs up. That's right. When you give my videos a thumbs up, it helps new rail fans find my channel and enjoy the videos the same way you have the last couple of years. So I want to thank you for that in advance. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go get some train videos right now. Going to have a train meet, the local and the freight. Train meet in the snow. All right. There's the SpongeBob unit right there. He's probably throwing a switch uh, in the yard. Here's the end of CSX I-008, or I-158, off into the snow there, look at that. He's already disappeared. That train starts out in North Baltimore, Ohio, terminates in Port Newark, New Jersey, heading east. All on this snowy Tuesday, December 7, 2021, from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Uh, That was pretty cool. Here comes this other train. And he is blasting through the snow. Looks like the 367. Be cool to see the Y World of Trains car now, wouldn't it? Haven't seen that thing in about 10 months. Not sure where it's at. There's trash in those hoppers. Scrap metal and stuff like that. Those all four of them had scrap metal. CNW boxcar right there. There's some covered hoppers, gondolas right there. Usually that means contaminated soil or something. LEF and C boxcar. 
symbol on that train is CSX Q367. That train starts out in Selkirk, New York, heads west, terminates at the Clearing Yard in Chicago, Illinois. All on this Tuesday, December 7, 2021 from Wide World Trains on YouTube. Uh, in the snow. Hold it. Don't click away because there's more trains to come. There always is a wide world of trains because you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's the next video. Roll it. I just got to town here. And I see uh, there's a train coming. But I missed the engines. We're still going to watch some of it. Check it out. There it is, Norfolk 722K. If you can see it with all this snow we're getting. Lincoln Avenue Railroad Crossing in Dunkirk, New York. It had a BNSF uh, engine. It might have had two uh, BNSFs. I know the leader was a BNSF. It just missed it. If I would have got here a minute sooner, I would have had it. One video of mine uh, where the Norfolk Southern train is going through uh, huge snow drifts and blasts the uh, snow drifts over the top of the train. Well, this is the crossing I filmed that at, right in front of that gate there. If you haven't seen it already, yeah, check it out. Go to my page and type in Norfolk Southern train and snow bank. It should come up. Snow really messes up the focus, I'll tell you. He's picking up speed for sure. This is a pretty good sized train, a mile and a half to two and a half miles long. It's a big train. There's a school bus behind me. Got their flashers on, they'll stop at the crossing and look both ways, open the door so the red flashers go on. We do that at all the crossings around here. There's the end of Norfolk Southern 22K. That train starts out at the 47th Street Yard in Chicago, Illinois, heads east. All the way to Ayer, Massachusetts, with a stop in Mechanicsville, New York. All on this Wednesday, December 8th, 2021, from Wide World of Trains uh, on YouTube. Uh, this was an old brewery here. It was the Cook's Brewery, K-O-C-H, apostrophe S. They made beer for about 100 years. They closed in the 80s. Well, they, they sold out to Genesee Beer out of Rochester, New York. used to get a train service there, believe it or not. And it wasn't for beer, it was for the coal to run the boilers. And I actually have a video of that somewhere of describing it, not of actually of the train. They, again, they took that track out shortly after they closed. This 
was all part of it. That was like a barn for the horses right there. And here's uh, another railroad crossing here, CSX Spur Line. I'll go ahead and follow that. I got a lot of trains. I followed a lot of trains on this uh, track here. Formerly the DAV, Dunkirk Allegheny Valley. Went from Dunkirk, New York, milepost zero, all the way to uh, the Allegheny Valley in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Can't think of the one name of the one city. But uh, if you look on my page, you'll see I chased a lot of cabooses right here on this line. Caboose was on, on a lot of the local trains. And that big building there is formerly the American Locomotive Works, or ALCO. Before that, it was Brooks Locomotive, Dunkirk Works. Then in 1900, they uh, merged. In 1901, they merged with uh, a bunch of other smaller railroads and uh, formed the ALCO Locomotive. And that's those two peaks you see up at top, that was for the crane to uh, go back and forth with the with the locomotives down the assembly line. That's what this building was here. That's one of the few buildings that are still standing. Most of the buildings uh, from Alco were tore down. I got some of them on my page. If you want to check that out, just type in Alco. A-L-C-O. This other building here is another old one. I'm surprised that's still standing. It's that one right there. In the 50s and 60s, that was converted to an Ames department store. And right where this white building is, that's a new building, ice cream uh, storage facility. That was where Alco expansion happened in the early 1900s. I have videos of that building with trains going by, a video of a fire that happened there, stuff like that. Again, you can check that all out on my page. Just type in ALCO right on my YouTube page and all my alcohol stuff will show up. And right there, there's part of the foundation of the power plant because when they were running, there was no commercially available power to run that. So most factories and plants back then had to produce their own electricity. And they got a lot. We just crossed over an old railroad crossing, I forgot to mention. But all this here, all this empty space was all Alco buildings. I have videos, videos of those uh, buildings right before they tore them down too. This road was never here um, until about five years ago. But at one time, this was all part of the Alco uh, locomotive, all this land right here. Back there is the CSX yard. Where my dad worked for Conrail in New York Central and Penn Central. He had an office over there. Now there's just the foundation left of that building. I used to go there with him years ago. I actually got inside and operated a locomotive in the yard. Back then you could do those things, but I don't think you could get away with it today. To let your kid run a locomotive. It was already idling in the yard, so we just went inside and went back and forth a little ways. Probably about 500 foot each way we went. I did a book report on that about in high school about what did you want to be as a when you grow up and get out of high school and I obviously did a locomotive engineer at the time I researched that they were making 18 to 20 thousand a year and I have a picture of me inside the locomotive but I don't know where what happened to that if I ever find it I'll definitely post that and here we are at CSX tracks hopefully we'll get some trains before it gets dark maybe I'll go live for a little while how's that all right, see you in the next train video. Roll it. Awesome, Canadian Pacific, look at that.
blasting through the snow. Boy, he's really moving. And don't forget to hit, the, hit that like button, everyone. DP, you all right? Here's the end of CSX I-166. The train starts out in Schiller Park near Chicago, Illinois. Heads east, terminates in Montreal, Quebec, Canada with a stop in Buffalo, New York to change crews. Once the train goes over the border into Canada, over the Niagara River, it turns into CP-142. I wasn't even sure if I was going to go live because it's kind of late. I just pulled up and the gates went down. Getting a little bit of snow today. Lots of UPS trailers. There's the end of Norfolk Southern 206. That train starts out at the 63rd Street Yard in Chicago, Illinois. Heads east all the way to Buffalo, New York, where it terminates at the Bison Yard. All on this Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. From Wide World of Trains uh, on YouTube. Uh, here comes the next train video. Roll it. Yes, a couple of cabooses. Whoa! A couple of old cabooses. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Two Chessie cabooses. No way.